Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome back to Becoming Cleo. Today I am so excited to have a chit chat with you all about a topic that I feel like a lot of 20 somethings can relate to, but also a topic that's near and dear to my heart. And that is career pivoting and really trying to figure out what it is that you want to do with your life. So if you're like me and you're multi-passionate and there's literally like a ton of different things you want to do with your life, it's really hard to it's really hard to pick one thing to focus on or to really narrow down on like top three things, especially when your top three things that you want to do all weigh the same. Like you want to do all those things equally bad. And so for me, I'm someone who is multi-passionate. I love a lot of different things. Most of them are related to the arts. So for example, I really like writing. I really like content creation. I really like holistic healing. And I feel like it's really hard to pick between one thing that I want to do because I just want to do it all. And as only one person, I sometimes can feel overwhelmed by the fact that I want to do all these things and it always feels like I don't have enough time. And for as long as I could remember, I have always changed what I wanted to do with my life. Like, you know, like in middle school or uh, elementary school where you have like those career days where you have to dress up as what you want to be for your career, uh, for your career when you get older. And so I remember for me, I think it was in sixth grade I remember I wore this like pink shirt that looked like a dress because it extended uh, to the top of my thighs and I wore these uh, blue jeans and I remember that I wore that it was very casual I think I had on black shoes and I was like oh I'm gonna be an actress and that was in sixth grade and then by the end of sixth grade I knew that I wanted to attend NYU to study acting and then be this big-time actress then of course, since I'm someone that's multi-passionate, someone who changes my mind a lot, by the time I got to seventh grade, I found that I wanted to be a, I think it was like a forensic scientist in seventh grade, but truth be told, it was really only because I loved watching CSI and I thought it was cool, but I'm not a STEM girly. Like I'm not one of those people who excels in STEM. By eighth grade, it was something different. And then ninth grade, it was something different. And every single year I found myself changing what I wanted to do with my life and I think it's just because one for me growing up um, a lot of my creative a lot of my creative passions weren't necessarily nurtured so I didn't really have the time or the space to be able to sit down with those things that I loved and figure out if this is something that I want to make a career out of but I say all that to say by the time that I graduated high school I knew in my heart that I wanted to be a criminal prosecutor and that's because I love watching Law and Order SVU. I was like, you know, I want to be like one of the ADAs, like I want to be a criminal defender. And if you look at my high school yearbook and it says like future career goals, mine literally says like, I think it says defense lawyer or it says like criminal prosecutor. It says something along those lines. And I tell you that right now, being a criminal prosecutor is far from what I do currently and it's far from anything that I ever want to do in my life. Then of course if acting came around and I was like hired to be a criminal prosecutor for a role, I would love that but I feel like that's the extent as to which I will ever be a criminal prosecutor in my life. You know as a kid it could seem like well of course she changes her mind she's a kid but you know you know there are some people in your life who know what they want to do who've always known what they wanted to do and then they pursue that like in their childhood or in their adulthood life and they stick with that one thing because that's the thing that genuinely lights them up that brings them joy but for me I really found that I struggled with trying to find just one thing that makes me happy. So I, when I entered into college after graduating high school I majored in criminal justice and that's really because I wanted to take this route of like yeah let me learn about the law that way when I practice it I kind of have some knowledge from college. Knowledge from college. And then sophomore year came around and I was like mm, not really feeling criminal justice anymore like this is not giving what I thought it was supposed to have gave like this is not like law and order or the tv and so then I changed my major to psychology but my whole idea in studying psychology would be to understand people so that I could be a better writer it was always from the perspective of me using this degree to do the thing that I really wanted to do so I did psychology for sophomore year and then junior year rolled around I transferred schools I went from Stevenson University to Howard University and I was still studying psychology, but the way that my credits were set up and the classes that I was taking, it was looking like I wasn't about to graduate on time. And that's just, that, that just was not an option for me. 
And so I switched my major one last time to TV and film production. And that is what I ended up getting my bachelor's of arts degree in. Um, with the minor in African American studies. If I had extra time to go throughout college, I probably would have changed my major one last time to either graphic design or English, but that that didn't happen, so we're not gonna go to that. Anyway, so fast forward to now, I am 26 years old, and a lot has changed between me graduating with, to now me being an executive assistant at my day job. So let me, I'm gonna fill in some gaps um, and kind of briefly walk you through what my last five years have looked like after graduating college. So I've officially been out of college five years in May, which is super, super, super crazy to think about because it feels like sometimes just yesterday I graduated from college. But within these five years, I've learned a lot about myself. I've made quite a few career pivots and I can see myself making a few more career pivots just because, just because, I'll leave it at that. So anyway, graduated college in 2018. I had my first job out of college as a social media manager. That is something that I really wanted to do after having an internship in undergrad. I was like, okay, well, let's do social media management. And so that's what I did. Unfortunately, a few months after getting that job, I ended up getting fired, lol. And then after that, I went into my own business. I started freelancing. And in my freelance uh, career, I was a social media manager. I was a part-time web designer. And I think that was it. I think those were the only two things that I did. And then in 2019, I pivoted from a freelance social media management business to a graphic design business to then a brand and web design business. I did brand and web for like 2019 to 2021. I was, I had my own business. I was taking my own clients and I was working for myself. That is what I thought I truly wanted to do with my life. Once I found out about brand and web design, I was just like, oh, this is it. This is the thing. I'll do this for a good five years until I'm 30 and then I'll do something else after. So I had really planned my entire life out when I was pursuing brand and web design. I had really planned out my entire life and I knew how my life was going to look. I knew that in five years I would start doing this, I'd stop designing here, I'd start coaching here, and I'd do all these different things. And then life really just took a turn. In 2021, after the pandemic, I felt the most extreme amount of burnout that I had ever experienced in my life. From running a business, from being in survival mode, from running that business, and also just from not really wanting to work for myself anymore in that full-time capacity because of how stressful it could be to only depend on myself. In 2021, I just took a break and I was like, okay, we need to figure out what we want to do because right now, brand and web design is not the thing that's serving us, but it's the thing that's stressing us. And so in 2021, I pivoted to a, uh, what was I? In 2021, I was a virtual assistant. And that was cool for the time being, but I felt like with that job, I was too overwhelmed. Um, in full transparency, that job did not pay well. So I had to work a lot and take on a lot of clients just to make sure that I was able to sustain my lifestyle and to pay my bills. And so I remember there was a time where I had like six different clients. I was super overwhelmed and the pay still wasn't enough. So I felt like the labor and the effort that I put forth wasn't, the income wasn't equaling the labor and effort that I put forth. And so in 2022, I left that job and I started working in property management. Property management is an interesting job. It was my first time working in it. And it was basically like this big call center where I had to take calls all day. I also had these really weird and extreme hours where I didn't get off work until 10 o'clock. It was work from home, but I found that me taking those calls and working in that capacity was extremely stressful to me. And so I pivoted again back to being an assistant. And a lot of these career pivots from marketing to web design to being an executive assistant weren't necessarily intentional career pivots on my part. I think a lot of them more so came from this deep desire to not want to do the thing that I'm currently doing right now. And so I'm going to pivot into the next thing that's going to stop me from doing the thing that I'm currently doing, if y'all and now I've been an executive assistant for almost, I think, a year and a half. I'm ready for my next career pivot. But this time I'm really trying to be 
intentional on exactly what it is that I want to do with my life and just really being intentional in the next pivot that I make because pivoting even though I feel like it's a beautiful thing to be able to switch gears and do something else, I feel like sometimes it can take a lot of work. Whether it is that you're learning a new skill or you're building a new portfolio, there's just some effort that is required on your part to be able to pivot and switch those gears. And I feel like right now in my life, I'm at a place where I don't necessarily have the capacity to want to put forth the effort to making sure that I can pivot, just to pivot again. Career pivoting is normal. And a lot of times when we go into college, we have this idea as to what we want to do without realizing that that thing could completely change at the end of our four or five or however many years you've been in college. That thing can change because our interests change and our passions change. And part of me just feels that it's unfair that we have to pick something so specific only for us to might not want to pursue it later. He is someone who is in their 20s and really just trying to figure it out. Things change, your careers change, your aspirations change, your interests change, you as a person change. So it's not 100% unreal to think that what you want to do with your life after graduating could be completely different from what you went to school for. It's the same thing with career pivots, especially as a multi-passionate person. Sometimes you want to do things for two years, sometimes you want to do them for two days. It is what it is, you kind of just have to go with the flow and let life lead you. And so now that I'm 26 years old and I'm slowly walking towards 30, I'm finally starting to figure out what it is that I want to do with my life. And instead of focusing on, I want to do this career thing or be this in my career or climb this career ladder a lot of the goals that i have when it comes to my career are more so um are more so intangible goals i think you could say they're not like i want to become a fortune 500 this or be a business owner of that like they're not tangible goals because i find that i often change my mind i often want to pivot and there are just so many different things that i want to do and so i figured out that it doesn't matter what it is that I end up doing with my life as long as I have these things at the center of it. To my core, I'm a person who loves storytelling. I love hearing people tell their truths. I'm also someone who loves transparency. I love being open and honest, getting to know people, sharing my life, documenting it, and having these honest conversations with you all. And I'm also someone who enjoys community. I love being in community with people, especially women, especially black women. I love being in community with them. I love connecting with them, networking, whatever that looks like. I love that. And also authenticity, like I am very much so attracted to things that just feel genuine, that feel raw, and that feels like they're coming from the heart. Of and so I found that those things that I just mentioned are part of my core values for how I want to live my life. It doesn't really matter what it is that I want to do with my life as long as I find, as long as I have the core values wrapped up in the center of what it is that I ultimately end up doing. Because that thing can change as we as people change and so that's kind of where I am right now in my life and I've just learned to accept that and let it be what it is now that I'm 26 I've realized a lot of different things about myself when it comes to career pivots and I want to share those with you all because maybe you can relate to them too the first one is that career pivots are going to happen career pivots are going to happen sometimes you like something and sometimes you can't stand it later and I think that's okay just the important thing with that for don't get too caught up in something that you're not trying to do forever. Okay, not to know what it is that you want to do with your life. We don't always have the answers. We're always changing. We're always evolving. Things are different every day. We learn new information every day. So it's okay to not have this ironclad plan written out or this plan written into stone already. Like it's okay not to have that. You just have to use the data that you've learned from the previous career path and the one that you're entering to figure out what your next step is. But ultimately, I do think that we are placed in different positions for different reasons. This new path could lead you to exactly what it is that you want to do. The third thing is that if you feel like you have this path that other people may not understand, that's okay. 
your path is your path if you feel called to do something it doesn't matter if other people agree with it or understand it or can see it as long as you're operating within your purpose and it really doesn't matter and my last tip for people that are 20 something on this specific on this similar path as me is be open you never know how your life is going to change you never know what you could be doing in the next five years or ten years or even tomorrow you truly never know. So I just want to say be open to the possibilities, be open to the infinite ideas, because there are truly so many different things out there for you to do that you don't have to be restricted to just what you know right now. So, so thanks for listening to my YouTube video. I hope that this was helpful for those other 20 somethings who are pivoting, who have changed careers and who are still kind of like in this limbo for what it is that they want to do with their life. I hope this was helpful to you. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.